Hello, it's Jo here. I have decided to do another video. I've got so many um, just things which kind of just come to the forefront of my mind. And, you know, especially mental health isn't something that people are very proud to talk about. But I've decided to just go, do you know what? I'm going to talk about it. It's been the thing which has set me free. Um, so the title of this video is... Um, I've, I've had mental health illnesses and I don't fit in. I'll never be normal, you know, something along those lines. Um, and I say, good, good, well done. I'm glad you're not normal. Isn't that wonderful that you've admitted that when everybody else can't, it's all this big rat race and struggle to be normal. Let's all fit in and blend in and crowd together. And then we're going to point at the person that's different. And that's really how it feels when you have a mental health experience because you feel like everyone around you or people that should know better or sometimes, not all the time, there are wonderful people out there who are supportive, but there are people who are very ignorant, who really can bring you down, mock you, laugh at you. And these are generally people that I have felt, I don't even know who they are. Like, who are you? You've heard the gossip, have you? Oh, well done. Well done for being normal. Um, I applaud you. Well done. Um, it's very hard when people tend to... <sighs> well, you're never going to be normal. You're never going to fit in. You're always going to be different because people make you feel like that. Oh, don't talk about it because, you know, you shouldn't talk about it because people will talk about you or you won't get that job if you tell them about it, which by the way, is kind of true. I've done that and I haven't got jobs because of it. Um, but I'm lucky, I'm embracing it and I'm carving out my life revolving around it. And the problem is with me, I let everything build up for so long. I had things where I was experiencing people be not being very nice to me and people would tell me, shut up, shut up. It's all in your head. Stop being a shit stirrer. You're crying wolf. You're crying wolf. And it just suppressed me. It kept me in my little box. And then bang, bang. It all goes bang. And that's the problem. I really wish for anyone who's watching this to embrace talking about it. If anyone turns around and says to you, don't talk about it. No, I wouldn't because people will talk about you. People don't understand. Oh, but I feel sorry for these people who don't understand. You can't blame them. People are, people don't know. People don't understand about mental health issues. Yeah, and really, maybe they should start to. Perhaps, you know, perhaps this empathy that a person who is experiencing an illness, maybe the empathy should start with them. Maybe people should say, oh, thanks for sharing that with me, Joe. I know that was really hard for you to do. And I'm really grateful that you decided that I was a trustworthy person to feel vulnerable with. And thanks so much. Like, I know that was a big deal for you. And thanks for showing me your heart on your sleeve. Because no one wants to do that. Everyone likes to keep people guessing. And it's the thrill of the chase. But you, Joe, you're different. You'd rather be yourself. You'd rather explain who you are because you actually care about me enough to fulfill a decent friendship or relationship with me. So I must be quite special that you would expose yourself like that. Wouldn't it be lovely if people would receive you like that? But the thing is, it's very difficult to get to the point to have the confidence to have that water roll off you like water off a duck's back. It's not easy. I've had so many rejections and setbacks. I've had so many people laugh at me. I've had people mock me. I've had people call me a psycho. She's a psycho. Oh, she's so funny. My God. Do you think it's true? Do you think she's a psycho? And, you know, for all those people who told me, it's all on your head, you're paranoid, you're crying wolf. Those people, I've always heard them in my head. And it's like, do you know what the one thing it has taught me is that I just don't trust people. I don't trust people who talk to me like that. I don't have any love or respect for someone who would talk to me like that. The problem is I didn't have any confidence, so I used to allow 
people to control me like that because I didn't have the confidence. I didn't think I was good enough to find any more friends, to find any more people. I was so low and I had people pushing me further down, who by the way, were not in my life when I really needed them the most. They soon scrambled. They soon didn't want to know me. They soon were laughing at me. And I just think love and gratitude. Thank you so much for showing me your true colours. You were part of my path. You were part of my survival. You know, how how to get through. You know, it's not life or death situation, but it can be with mental health. It can make your brain go bang. I've had breakdowns because I just can't compute it all. It's this pressure cushion, cook, cooker which wasn't releasing the pressure. And when I talk about it, when I talk to people about it, there are people who come forward and say, yeah, I've experienced that. Or they've worn their heart on their sleeve and they've talked about tra traumas of their past. And I have people say, God, I can't believe I'm telling you this. I've never told anyone this. I've never even told my mum about this. You know, I find that what I've experienced, all this shit from people who have talked to me like shit, who've abused me, who've abused their position with me, who've gone... <laughs> Oh, you're good to hang around with for five minutes. Come here, come running. Oh, and actually, when someone else walks in the pub and when someone else walks in, <laughs> yeah, see you then, we're off, goodbye. Oh, we're gonna laugh at you and mock you. I literally have had people to treat me like that. And I can't even tell you, like, I will literally never, ever accept that anymore. And the thing is, I won't even have any confrontation with people. I just don't think people are worth the energy all the trauma, all the upset, all the heartache, because they then lie. They lie and they lie. And do you know what? Good. I'm glad. If you're watching this video and this is sinking in with you, this is what feels shit. That's how I feel. But I never say anything. I don't fit in with my group of people. I just feel like if I wasn't in this group of people, they wouldn't give a shit. I'm only good for a lift. Or I'm only good for listening to. Or I'm only good you know, like, to to be the advice, to be that person who can keep a secret, and then I'm dropped just like that, when their friend who comes in, who always takes the piss out of me, they never defend me. If that's you, I'm glad that you're watching my video, and actually, I, I'm glad that you don't fit in, I'm glad that you are you, you need to embrace you, because your vibe attracts your tribe, you know, you need to be yourself, otherwise that pressure cush cooker of steam isn't going to be releasing. You need to be yourself. Don't let anybody set you back or hold you. Don't be paralysed with fear. Just fucking walk off and screw them because that's what I've done. And people find it funny. People think it's weird. Oh yeah, she doesn't even like looking at people. She doesn't even like acknowledging people. We're going to have fun and take the piss out of her. Yeah, literally. Are you really adults or are you kids? Because I really feel like you might be children. Did you even graduate from primary school? Oh, but you want to sit there being adults and have adult chats and conversations and look like the friendliest person in the group and look like you care. And I'm always here. Let me give you lots of cuddles. But when it comes down to it, when they walk off, they're slagged off. That's me. I'm always the one that's slagged off. But I don't mind... I don't mind because I feel it and I know it. I'd rather be around people who speak nicely about me. And I used to think, shit, I don't want to walk away because I know they're going to slag me off when I walk away and I'd be paralysed there. I'd be sat there. I'd be attending things because I'd be paranoid people would be slagging me off. You know? And, yeah, I'm glad I don't fit in. My name's Joe. I don't fit in. I'd rather be myself. I'd rather bumble along in a happy vibe and be myself, not acknowledging people who lie about me, who say nasty things about me, who spread an opinion about me rather than being a truth about me. If people aren't intelligent enough to know the difference between Chinese whispers, lies opinions, mocking, piss-taking, then that's their problem. It's nothing to do with me. And I say exactly the same to you. What they say about you, how they try to control you, to nip you in the bud. Hey, get back in your box. Shut up. You're crying wolf. Actually, how you feel should be important. 
How dare anybody tell you that how you feel and how you process things is too sensitive? You're too emotional. You're such a crybaby. Oh, shut up. You're ridiculous. Now, really, are they loving and are they kind? Are they making you feel valued? Is what you're giving to them being reciprocated? Do you feel like you're loved and liked? Do you feel like you're worth something around these people? And if any of that is no, I would really seriously reevaluate who you're around because I say it's a good thing that you don't fit in and have the confidence to walk away. That's what I say. So I hope that this video makes sense to at least one person and, you know, I'm more than welcome to, you're more than welcome to message me, comment, whatever you like, if you want to, and have a chat if you need it. And that's it. If nobody really, if somebody doesn't agree with what I say, just don't watch me anymore. Um, but I hope that the right people will come and click and watch my video because this really is something which is quite meaningful to me. I have been suppressed by bullies and liars and my fears. And I've been told, it's your problem. You need to go to therapy. You need to change. But you know what? I always am. I'm always transforming. I'm always evolving. And that hardship that I've experienced from other people trying to control me and suppress me and play on my fears and doubts, they've done me a favour. I embrace it and I send them love and gratitude because without any of those people, I wouldn't be who I am today. And I'm loving and I'm kind and I'm courageous and caring and I love myself. And it's not an egotistical thing that I'm saying here. It's an inner knowing and it's inner respect and it's self-love. And it is very much essential to be happy in this world. So I say, don't ever fit in be yourself and embrace it because I love you for being exactly who you are. If you're not hurting anybody, if you're not being nasty, if you're being truthful and honest and you genuinely care about other people, I love you. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.